In this video, we're going to show you how to load a program written before and how to find and fix errors in this program. So, we wrote a program before. What we need to do is drag it into Canopy. Or we can just file, open recent, or open and browse around for it. So here's the program we wrote before. And now we can run it again. And all is working fine. Now let's look at the trickiest part of programming. Programming is very unforgiving. One bracket that's wrong, one character out of place and the whole thing fails. Programs won't give you marks for getting it nearly right. It has to be all right. So you're going to make mistakes. I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when programming. So how do we fix that? Well, let's try making a mistake and see what happens. Let's say, for example, instead of print, all commands in Python start and end their arguments with a round bracket, but let's say we'd put a square bracket instead. Save that. And now we'll run it. And it didn't get very far. It tells us invalid syntax, shows us the line, and puts a little pointer underneath where the mistake was. OK, so that's pretty easy. So we'll fix that. Save. And run. And now everything is good. That was a simple error. Let's say we had something a bit more complicated. Let's say, for example, instead of writing print, we'd put a capital P in front. Python, like most programming languages, is case sensitive. Changing from a lowercase to an uppercase makes a difference. Here you can see that the print command before was colored in green. That meant that Canopy recognized that was a valid Python command. Here, because it's got a capital P in front, it doesn't recognize it as a valid Python command. It's just come in black like everything else. So that right away should be a warning telling us, danger, danger, you've done something silly. But let's say we didn't notice that. So we'll save. And we'll run this. OK, so what's happened? It's given us lots of errors down here. It printed, I love physics, which means this line was fine. Then it comes down and says there was an error. And it tells you it's on this line, print A plus B. And it tells you it's a name error, name print not defined. That's because it didn't recognize it, because it had a capital P in front. So if we change it back to a lowercase p, Save and run. All is good. Let's make an even more subtle error. Let's say b equals 0, 0.0 and try and print a over b. So we're trying to divide something by 0. Not a good idea. Let's run that. OK, so here it's told us, once again, it's pointed us to which line the error was in. There's something wrong on this line. And it's given us zero division error, float division by zero. So in that case, it must be pretty obvious if you're dividing something by zero, the b must be zero. If you want to double check, you could have an extra print command in here, like print b. And now it'll, so I love physics, print 0, 0.0, and then crash, which is telling you it got fine as far as there, and it's only the line down here which is a problem.